Hope you're all still awake. Late night mega here. This thing is still haunting us. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to try and just run around him. And let's, let's touch this thing again. And we're going to just withdraw this one. I don't know why I didn't think of uh, doing this sooner, but I, I didn't. I thought you just had to touch one of the other ones, and yeah, well. So once you turn off all of the whatever thing you have so that you're no longer restricted, the elevator comes up. Get to the elevator before that thing kills us. Go, go, hurry, run. They look funny the way they're running. I know it's fast forward, but it's, it's still funny looking. All right, the Deus of Ascendance. It lets us go from floor 66 to floor 67. What is holding this elevator? Uh, okay, there's a mystical thing on the bottom. I find it odd that before we had a waystone to teleport us up, and now suddenly we have this elevator that can only go up one floor. I'm... I'm confused. I found a save crystal. Let's save it before something else bad really happens. And by the way, something... I think something bad is going to happen. I just have a feeling. Alright, let's take our obligatory lap around the perimeter here and find nothing but another evil nightmare frog elemental. Oh, looks like we're not even going to find that. That's awesome. Last thing I need is to see another one of those things. Alright, what else do we have? I don't see any treasures back there. Although, someone might yell at me in the comment section, Late Night Mega! That is where you missed one of the treasures. Oops. Alright, so we take an elevator up one floor, and then we take a teleporter? Oh, the third ascent. The Might of Destiny. Well... We are officially in the last third of this dungeon. This is so long, even for uh, this game. Oh, new enemies. Perobolos. Perobolo. I don't know if I pronounce it. I don't know how I normally pronounce that. Uh, okay, well, what happens? Can I just go back to the uh, previous floor? And, yeah, you saw me cut, I think, I think that teleporter, if you touch it again, it doesn't take you back to the previous floor, or floor 60, so we're now on floor 80, see, we skipped all the in-between. But what it does is it actually teleports you back to the very beginning of this dungeon, and there's no waystone that teleports you back to floor 80. I'm not going through all of that again, so I just reloaded the save file and then just took the elevator up, and uh, here we are again. Yeah, there's no way I'm re redoing all of that. Oh, the, oh, the pillar got me again. Reach the final sphere, no path herein will you find. The heights you've climbed, their glyphs, these shall be your guide. To seal of night, look first. Not easily this realm to pass. Failing twice, punishment you will face. None of that sounds pleasing. Alright, so remember when I told you to remember the everything that we've done in the dungeon up until now? This is where we're going to use that knowledge. So if you remember, the first thing we did was we collected black orbs. And you'll see that there's, well... Ask gameplay me, please go back and show off the uh, crystals. Or just go to the dead end. Yeah, you can do that too. Ancient door cannot be opened from the side. 
Well, we don't want to end up on the other side of that door anyways, because, well... Okay, the fact that post-commentary me is even saying that means I already know what's on the other side of the door, meaning I'm going to the other side of the door at some point. It's not good. So, the Black Sigil. Since the first thing we did was collect those Black Spheres, that is where we will progress forward. That's the Green Sigil. You don't want to touch that, because that would be wrong. What is this thing over here? Uh, the Sigil of Sacrifice. Well, that's not the first thing we did either. Okay, so, first thing we did was we collected those Black Spheres to move forward. So, what we want to do here is select the Black Sigil Waystone. And it teleports us over yonder. Well, regardless of if that's the right choice or not, there's no going back, at least not right now. Uh, anyways, these guys, the Probolos, I haven't talked about them much yet, other than mispronouncing their name. Chain Reaction, please don't do that. Um, yeah, they're just the upgraded endgame bomb type enemies. Uh, we're gonna cast Death on them, because guess what? Death works on them. Mass Destruct, that's not the nicest thing you could be doing. Okay, so I think... I don't know how those guys work. Um, and don't worry about the treasure I just missed. I will come back and get it, I think. And if you don't have a clue what I'm talking about yet, don't worry. That will also be revealed in this part. But right now, we're dealing with a lot of these guys. Fortunately, they are still weak to death. They're weak to holy. Althir has the uh, holy spear on. You can see he's doing over... 4,000 damage a shot. Yeah, they're not too tough once you, uh... Well, once you death two of them. Hey, here's a treasure. An X-Potion. There's a hallway down here that looks like it leads to nothing. Ooh, Fool's Facade. Don't ask me the physics behind that. We got Flare! We got the Flare spell! Oh, we're gonna have to set up a gambit for Pinello, get her the license for that. And not in that order, though, because that wouldn't work. Okay, there we go. We got her the license for Flare. Now let's set up a gambit so if anything is not weak to anything, you just flare it. Flare is not multi-targeting, however, so there's that. You can see we're not even on the map anymore. And there's a green waystone there. Hmm, I wonder what that does. Well, if you recall our hint... Oh, there's another treasure. Uh, and Terry's. Okay, so if you recall our hint, the second thing we did in this dungeon was we found the... We killed those brain pans, which were the green flame enemies, and uh, that's how we moved forward along the path. Oh, it's a gun. That's a few points stronger, so yeah, why not? Not upset about finding that. And, yep, you can burst through the wall there. However, there's, well, there's this enemy here. Cataract Avis. That's going to use Crushing Fangs. And Fran is taking care of it with uh, Thunder Magic. And the other guys are, are just attacking it. Okay, let's see what treasure he was guarding. Really? Really? Yeah, whatever. So many new enemies in this uh, dungeon. They keep throwing them at us, too. Alright, so if we go up here... You notice you have a regular green thing. You have, well, basically the four choices we had again. Although this time there isn't a red choice. There's a uh, 
there's a white stone, the stone of sacrifice there. You got whatever, you got another one of those guys, we've seen them before. Yeah, we don't we don't want to go to any of those. What we want to do is go to the secret one in here because I'm sure that's going to lead to something better than anything out there would lead to. So we'll touch this. Of course, we touch. The, we always just go into these ancient ruins and touch all their devices. That's how this works, and we're warped to another completely off the map secret place. My map isn't even lighting up as I'm standing here. Um, you know what? I don't trust any of you, and I don't trust these traps. So we're going to float. We're on a whole new floor, too. Uh, floor 83. We got white robes for that. We're getting some really good equipment now. And I think it was this part. Once I started getting, like, flare and white robes, I'm like... You know, this is kind of like final dungeon equipment type of stuff we're getting. Uh, although it doesn't fully look like it on here, because we're only at Mystic Armor 11 here, and there's like Mystic Armor... I know at least goes up to 13. But, uh... Yeah, it, I, I should have gotten a big hint from Flare and and some of this other stuff we've been getting that, uh... You know, this, this is the final dungeon, and I need to make sure I explore it more for treasure. So I think the treasures that I ended up missing were back on some of the previous floors where I didn't fully explore. And, well, I'll have to deal with that later, off-screen. Uh, let's just keep slashing away these walls, and we come out here. Uh, and there's this guy. Redis can hit the flying guys just fine, it seems. We got a dragon helm as a loot item for that. So, and yeah, we're going to get Balthier the license for it because it's better than the helmet he has on now. We are just upgrading our equipment all over the place today. I mean, I know we already got the dragon helm earlier for Bosch, but uh, now we have another one for... Uh, both here. So that's really nice. Uh, past gameplay me. Go through that other fake wall. Or don't. I mean, I guess you don't have to. Alright, thank you. And that brings you here. I wonder if there were fake walls earlier in this dungeon that I just missed. That would be something else I might have to explore into. How many things did I actually miss on here that I'm, that I'm intentionally going to come back and get? Because I have that listed. Ah, oh, here we go. Missing treasures from Pharos. Ah, uh, one, two... Three, four, yeah, four, four things, four things that I care about. Nice shot, both here. Um, I wasn't paying attention. Which teleporter did I take? I think I took the red one. You'll want to take the red one. Red one, as you remember, leads us to treasure. And we want to be led to treasure. Uh, I guess I'm going to do the... Yeah, I'm going to do the half MP, because nothing's trying to silence us or do other silly things. And we come up here, and we have four choices again. 
So we've got the sigil of sacrifice. We're just gonna we're just gonna touch the first one we see, I guess. And we're on floor 79. We're oh hey, there's a map. And here's endless ranks of the dead. I'm not really joking about that. Uh, this was the wrong place to be stepping. We are in so much trouble here. Uh, Redis, do you want to cast Holy on something? Anything? Zombie Warlock? Yeah, that's a good target for that. Uh, kill that Necro Arch Fiend. Because it's really annoying. Uh, yeah, so you go through a wrong teleporter, you end up at this section where you get uh, swarmed by lots and lots of things. Zombie Warlock ready Zaquaga. That's not what I want to see you doing. Although I could use that map. That I wouldn't mind getting. Confusion! Oh, that's bad. Don't be confused. Somebody fix everything. Uh, ball fear. Use the new kite sand on Bosch, please. Uh, Fran's dead. Um. Redis is using a rise. Bosh. Somebody fix things. Redis is dead. Let's grab the map, because that's the most important thing to do when people are dying. Yay, we got a map of the third ascent. I didn't I totally missed the map of the second ascent. I know the map doesn't fill in all those secret areas. Oh, what's this say? The third two is of the flame, not green in hue. Hungering, consuming, okay. So I guess the third one we're supposed to go to is, oh, a strong magic spar of the door, it won't open. That's also wonderful news. Alright, you guys can kill stuff. Uh, let's go check out more helpful hints. Alright, pardon me guys, I, I just need to read this. Now stop with the blindness, that's really annoying, you know that? Use a phoenix town on one of them. More eye drops. Yeah, we don't want Balthier being blind, because that doesn't help us at all. Oh, confusion again. Uh... Redis, use some items. I should probably go into the uh, menu and equip the confusion immunity, but I keep hoping and assuming that this onslaught is almost over. Oh, and that door's locked on the other side. Alright, are you guys almost done spawning? Ah, the magic's barring the door fade. And we still can't open that door. I wonder how we get there. Well, how did the magics fade, but yet we still have... We still have stuff to deal with.
I don't understand that either. And now the door is doing it to me. A nutty door. This section kind of sounds like Star Wars music. Just a thought I had. Alright, one more of these guys here. Okay, um, no. No, that's not what you want to be touching. Don't, don't touch that. Yeah, return to the wellspring by other means, return ye back to this place. So, it'll take you back to the, uh... Yeah, it takes you back to the very start of the dungeon. Don't... Don't, don't do that. Uh, and this is me wondering if there are fake walls around here. Which I guess not. So... We'll go forward. So back to touching waystones. I don't really want to guess wrong. I was thinking that each teleporter would automatically take you to a different location, but I guess all of the wrong choices will take you back to... Uh, the mess we just had, and I don't really want to have that mess again, so I'm going to at least attempt to guess correctly. Uh, if you go down to the end of that, is there... Is there a fake wall on that part? Oh, well, I don't know all the names of the sections right now, so I don't know if we're... We missed treasure in the third ascent, or the second, or the first. Actually, I would guess... I think we missed one of the treasures in the first ascent, and then two of them in the second ascent. And then another one at the Station of Ascension, wherever that is. If you go into your uh, main map, it'll give you the names of the sections, but uh, past gameplay me, not too concerned about that right now. I don't know how we got past the first one without uh, triggering that trap, but we are not taking any chances. Go, go, Floatga. And I don't have a clue what that was about. And we have an enemy over here. Oh, the big flying guy. There we go. So next we need the red. The, the red. I also do want to make sure that I get the treasures out of this area. I'm pretty sure I do. At least the ones that I care about. I was going to see about using all my techniques on him, but he's already dead. 
Look, use a technique on this one. Or just stand there and look pretty bosh. By the time I use any of those techniques, he's already dead anyways. Hey, we got more treasure. The Ultima Blade. It's probably like the seventh best sword in the game or something. Well, it's more attack power and it's uh, non-elemental, so why don't we get him the thing for that? You need the Knight Board. It's a great sword. Yeah, there's Excalibur. There's a whole bunch of stuff we don't have yet. And the fact that we had all, all the stuff that we didn't have yet also made me think that Pharos was still maybe not the final dungeon. Uh, Waystone, Sigil of Sacrifice. I think you have to select the correct color of whatever it was you sacrificed. We sacrificed items, which that ended up being the yellow one or the uh, wealth one. So we're going to use that. And that warps us over here. Very well. Let's see what you have to tell us. Final sphere to the undying, the final path belongs, blah blah blah. Contained by glyph and color. That's not helpful. Well, we'll try this more next time.